All right, let's do it. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Lowell Sala of NYC Emerging Healthcare Technology. Today, I am going to teach you how to create your browser-based virtual reality world using React 360. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you will be able to hear and see every time I upload new videos and new contents. In today's episode, we are going to talk about how to create your own virtual reality world using React 360. So again, if you don't know anything about React, I just want to show you a brief description of what it is. So React 360 is actually a framework for the creation of interactive 360 uh, experiences that run on your web browser. So when I say web browser, what I'm actually implying is that with your Google Chrome, for example, or even your Brave browser, you are now able to visualize or go into the virtual reality uh, with this world. So it pairs also with modern APIs like WebGL and WebVR with the declarative power of React that, you know, uh, you can create a lot of applications through a variety of devices. So you can access it via your, your iPhone or your, what's this, your Android phones. So uh, just to mention as well that React 360 actually builds off uh, React Native uh, in its component structure and the 3JS uh, for rendering 3D graphics in your browser. So anyone can actually create, now if you're a beginner, you can create it in 30 minutes, intermediate five minutes, and less than five minutes, if you are an expert. So without further ado, let's do that now. Let's uh, try to create uh, a React 360 world view or you know environment. So the first thing that we are going to do is make sure that we are in the right directory. So I'm just gonna go CD uh, desktop. And once I get into the CD desktop, I automatically can just write React uh, 360 and then initialize it. And then let's say I want to create a curriculum vitae for VIT. Okay, I want to create um, a curriculum vitae. So once it is created, we can just go and CD in the directory. Easy, right? But again, also make sure that, you know, if you are creating this, make sure that you have Node.js. So I just uh, showed this to you right now. So you can download it if you're using Mac, for example, or if you're using, um, uh, what's this? If you're using uh, Microsoft, uh, you can download it with your Microsoft, but make sure you download the right one. Okay, so let's do that. So right now we are going to cd into our directory, which is curvit. Okay, once we get into the uh, the right directory, we can just write code to open it into to open uh, using our editor. So so quick, right? See, everything is here. The in the the, the test, for example, the static assets. So the static assets actually will just show you where you can park all your, uh, what's this, your, uh, what's this, your environment or your uh, JPEG files or your files. So and then the client.js and the index.html where you can add, of course, your tags, your meta tags, and of course, your uh, index.js where you'll be able to edit it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do again is initialize. So we are going to create a new terminal here and just write npm because this is node, npm run start. And once it is done, give it a few minutes, we can just go directly into our local host, 8081 index.html. And give it a few minutes, waiting for the 100%, 100%, okay? Okay, now I want to change this one. I want to make it into a curriculum today and then I'm just gonna write another text here 
Lowell Sala. Okay, and then just save it. And once I click here, oh, see? And again, because I want to be different, you know, I want to add something else. Let's change the uh, environment. So right now I have here on the side the Manhattan skyline. So I will just uh, put it in the, the uh, static assets, as I mentioned. So and then I'm going to change it to make it easier by renaming it to man.jpg. And then I am just going to look at your client.js and then change this to man. Dot JPEG. Save and oh, see, because I'm in because uh, I'm a New Yorker, you know, I'm in a Manhattanite. I'm kidding. So this is so you can see you already can already create your three dimensional environment. So and again, uh, this is again so easy, right? And if you wanna let's say uh, make this into production. What you can do is again also easy. You can just write. Uh, you just write. So you're in the correct directory, right? The curriculum directory. You just write npm uh, run and then type bundle. As you can see, you'll be forming the build uh, directory or the build file. Sorry. So this is the build file. So everything. Uh, if you just wanna like export it and put it in, let's say um, Netlify or even uh, Digital Ocean. So everything is here. It uh, automatically creates that file for you, and it's really, it's really like so easy. So again, um, so this is what the view now looks like. And if you're using your uh, cardboard, you'll be able to view it using your um, directly uh, through your uh, what's this through your browser. And with that, we end once again our session. Now, if you want to learn more about all these things, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell because I need uh, more followers.